Okay, we're just having a look at uh, Fun With Construction and its applications for mapping. Fun With Construction is uh, a tool used for uh, geographic drawing and mathematics. You can see we've got uh, some shapes up here. Um, more specifically for mapping, we've got a lot of uh, measurement tools down here as well. We've got the ruler and the, the 180 as well as the 360 protractor and also a, an 8 point compass. We've also got a compass tool that we can stretch out to measure a distance. And we've also got a piece of string here. So I'd like to show you how these tools actually work. I'll just insert a new tab. It's a little bit like Excel. You can insert tabs and you can save this file as well. I'll go to the internet, to Google. Now if you've got a screen capture program or Windows 7, you can capture an area of the screen like this. We go back to our fun with construction and just paste that there onto the, the canvas. Now what you can do with uh, from the construction, you've got layers down the bottom left here. If I just add a new layer, it's like having transparencies that uh, that map is on the bottom one and the next layer over the top is one that we're going to work on. So of course I can take my ruler tools, or the ruler there, I can draw a point on the map to where we want to go to. I'll just put my protractor there. Okay, I can also get another ruler. I can measure the distance of that line. We've got a tool here as well that I can click on to bring the calculator up to do my calculations. When I'm finished that, I can simply click on the screen and I can I can type an answer on the screen there. Okay, another tool we've got is the piece of string. I'll just take that protract away so we can see the piece of string. Let's put a new layer. Okay, so with the piece of string, where have you screen? Piece of string. Piece of string. You can see down on the bottom right. And it's coming up and it's actually about 152 mil long. Okay, so a lot of uh, applications for mapping there. I'll just go over and show you uh, another example. Here's an example that we've set up for students to work on. And a worksheet as well. Uh, we've linked it into something something real. The, uh, the spotter planes chasing the, um, uh, the whale sharks uh, from Western Australia. Giving them a bit of a scenario there. And if we come down here, we've got the, the situation which is explained in, in a verbal form. And students have to then go and mark those uh, those bearings, degrees, and distances on the map. Okay, now I've asked the students to do one on each layer. So on layer two, we can see that they've actually drawn a line out here. Uh, measured the line with the ruler tool, which is in here. They would have put that ruler here. Measured it. And uh, then done their calculation to work out the distance. We'll just go have a look at the next layer and next layer. Okay, and finally they get their answer. And in this case, they've, they've shown the answer to be 319 degrees. And it's just off the bottom of the page there, bearing 7.5 kilometers. Okay, we'll just jump into another example. Here we go, relief mapping. So I've actually drawn a, a map here on the screen, or I could have copied again and pasted this from the internet. I can do a line along there which is going to be a cut line. Now I'll just go down and, and show you where this has been done on the layers. Okay, so you'll first set up a frame and put some labels on the frame which will uh, which will link into the, each of these lines here. Students can easily do their drop down lines. Once they've done one line they can copy and paste it to do the rest. Mark their intersection points. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see those intersection points, so I'll just circle them like this. Now, of course, this program has got uh, inking capability built into it. Up the top here, we've got an ink tab. So if you do have a tablet computer or a tablet pad or an interactive whiteboard, you can simply come up here and click on any of these pens uh, or highlighters and start using them. Okay, the last line down here, the last uh, layer has got the curve drawn on it. Okay, so just a couple of examples. Uh, that one there, relief mapping. We've also got doing bearings, degrees, and distances. And also actually bringing real maps from, uh, from Google Maps and pasting them there on the canvas. 
In fact, any any image or text that you, you can find on the internet or a Word document, you can simply copy and paste there and use all of the measurement tools uh, to work with it. Uh, of course, not to mention all of the other shape tools and uh, and these tools that we've got down the bottom here as well. Okay, so just a little bit of an insight about how thumb construction can be used for mapping.